intensity control using the C knob. This is a demonstration of how you can use the C knob to limit the range or the intensity of the effect of one module over another. When there's nothing connected to the A input of the utility section and a signal is connected to the B input, the C knob will act like a volume control for the signal that is received at B and is sent from the A plus B times C output. So if we have a signal that we want to use to change another parameter, so let's say here we've got the function to wave, which is set up like an LFO, and here it's going to control the fold amount of this kind of drone sound. If we connected the function to positive output directly to the fold amount, the, the amount of fold would rise to the maximum level and fall to the minimum level. But maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we just want to make a more subtle change. So if we connected the function to positive output directly to the fold input, this is how it would sound. So that's fine, that's a nice sound, but if we want a more subtle change in the sound, we can go via the utility section and we can use the C knob to adjust the intensity of that change. So you can imagine this as the, the wave that's coming from function two is rising to the top of the screen, if you like, and to the bottom of the screen and to the top and to the bottom. And as it rises to the top, the fold amount will reach maximum. And as it comes to the bottom, the fold amount will be at the minimum setting. So what we want to do is reduce this range, the range of the wave, in effect like the volume, if you imagine it as an audible wave. So we're going to reduce it using the C knob to something more like this, which means the amount of fold will only vary this much up and down. So it might go from sort of 20% or 30% either side of where the fold knob is at that point. So we can use the C knob to make this the amplitude of this wave louder or greater or less. So we'll do that now. generating sound. This is an example of how you can make sounds play by themselves using a constant volume signal. We're going to use a volume signal from the utility A plus B times C output. This will output a constant high level signal 
when nothing is connected to the A, B and C inputs and when the C knob is at the maximum position. This will allow us to hear the carrier wave which is always active but we can't hear it until we give it a volume level which normally would happen when we pressed a key but we can do this without pressing a key. So we'll hear that basic carrier wave and then we can make a few additions to the sound to make it a bit more interesting as we go. We could achieve the same effect by connecting the LPG1 level input to the function 1 inverse output when no notes are being played. Pulse width modulation. The A minus B times C output can create a type of pulse width modulation where the C knob or a signal connected to the signal input C changes the width of the pulse or the amount of square wave shape within a single cycle of the resulting wave. In this example the carrier wave is connected to the utility signal input A and combined with the static 3.3 volt signal which is generated by the B section of the utility module when nothing is connected to signal input B. Here A is supplying a type of triangle wave and B is adding an offset from that 3.3 volt signal. When a varying signal is connected to the signal input C or when the C knob is turned the 3.3 volt signal is reduced when this varying voltage is combined with the carrier wave connected to the signal input A using the A minus B times C formula, the resulting wave changes in a manner similar to pulse width modulation as the ratio of triangle to square wave shape within each wave cycle changes. If I was a pitch man. This patch is reminiscent of some classic ZX Spectrum computer game sounds, such as those in Manic Miner and Jet Set Willy. The patch changes the pitch of the carrier wave very rapidly, using a fast repeating wave generated by function 2 sent from the function 2 positive output to utility signal input A. The function 1 positive output is connected to the signal input C which gives a slight variation in the amount of pitch change during the release phase of each note. The C knob is used to create the desired range of pitch variation overall. The ABC times C output is sent to the source pitch input. There's also a lot of fun that we can have using the function 2 time and shape with this sound.
volume fluctuation. This patch uses the utility module to combine two modulation sources into one. Function 1 creates a general volume envelope for each note, while Function 2 creates a secondary more rapid volume fluctuation, which is kept within the bounds of the Function 1 volume envelope by the utility module. When a note is played with this patch, the volume will fluctuate according to the rise and fall wave that is being generated by Function 2. However, this volume fluctuation is within the range set by the Function 1 attack hold release signal. If the Function 2 positive output was connected directly to the LPG1 level input, the sound would be constantly audible, with the volume fluctuating from maximum to minimum. However, because it's passed through the utility ABC module, the Function 2 wave moves within the range of the Function 1 signal, which is the main volume envelope. This is because the formula A plus B times C is applied, in which A is not connected and therefore is zero, B is the function two wave and C is the function one signal. So here the formula can be simplified as B times C. The maximum value of C at any time is one. When the function one signal is in the hold phase, as the note is held, the value of C is one. So B times C is equal to B. When the value of C falls during the function one release phase, the value of C might be 0.5. So the formula B times C equals half of B. So when the release phase has been completed, the value of C is zero. And so the formula B times C equals zero. I hope we're keeping up. This is translated into an overall volume because the A plus B times C output is connected to the LPG1 level input. This has the effect of scaling the volume fluctuation according to the attack hold release signal. <laughs> 